Hey peeps, what's up Manchi here, back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can install Exposed Framework on your Android device running Android 13. Now of course, do note you will need to be rooted using Magisk for you to install Exposed Framework using Exposed on your Android 13 device. So here it is, you can see Magisk is installed, the version is 25.2. First of all, we will go into settings and make sure you have enabled Zygisk. In case you have not enabled Zygisk, enable it and then the next thing we need to do is reboot our device and of course all the relevant links, all the applications is linked in the description of the video. So now that we've booted back into Android, let us open the Magisk app and confirm that we have Zygisk as yes. Then the next thing we need to do is we will open Google Chrome and go to the Elspost releases page. So here it is. This is the latest release of Elspost, which provides you exposed framework on your Android devices. Now here it is change log. You can see tested support for Android. 13 so you need to scroll down and reach the assets section in case it is not expanded tap on the arrow beside it and the one which we want is the one with zygisk why because our magisk has zygisk and that is the one which we have enabled so select this zip file and if your browser asks you permission to download the file then do give it that permission next thing we are going to open the magisk app here it is main page go into modules as you can see there are no modules which have been installed so we're going to say install from storage then three bar menu on the top left select your device's name in my case it is the poco f1 this is the file manager and all the files which you download on your device directly go to the download folder so that is where we are going to go change the view and here it is else post digest select it and now at this point once the module has installed successfully we are going to say reboot and while the device is rebooting do note that if you get into a boot loop because of a magisk module videos on how to fix that can be found in the description of this video as well all right so we've booted back into android and as you can see i've gotten a notification to create a exposed shortcut so we need to say add to home screen and once i select that bam here it is else post is installed it is activated and it is working like a boss system version as you can see is 13 which means this is android 13. now in certain cases you might not get that pop-up what do you do then for starters go into magisk go into modules make sure zygisk was installed and it is activated then use any file manager which will let you unzip files i'm using fx file manager so i will go into main storage i will go into download i will select the exposed zip file which is your exposed framework make sure it is highlighted and selected three dot menu on the top right select open with and herein we are going to say archive extractor and then we are going to say three dot menu on the top right one more time and say extract here so this is going to extract the contents of this zip file and now we have a folder with the same name so we're going to go inside this folder here and you will see something called manager.apk so select this and let the file manager install apks on your device we are going to install the else post application once that is done we should have the else post app in our application drawer we are going to open it and bam here it is now we are getting the option of creating a shortcut why because many applications detect the else post apk and they say your device is rooted and all that mumbo jumbo so to avoid that situation this is what they have come up with and now you should have another shortcut on your home screen and at this point you can go into your application drawer uninstall the else post manager app which we just installed and if i access that shortcut i can now access else post and there it is we have successfully installed exposed framework using else post on our device running android 13.